It's outside. Snow. Yeah. Snow. Snow. I'm gonna go and see the snow. Yeah. Hello, welcome to a new vlog. Today we're getting all Christmassy and I'm putting up our Christmas tree. In an ideal world I would be doing this on a weekend with some Christmas movie on um, and yeah just really in the vibe but actually it is Wednesday evening and um, it's half seven in the evening. Johnny is upstairs doing bath and bedtime with Luca and I'm getting the tree up because it's the only opportunity I'm gonna have to do it before next week and yeah I just don't want to wait that long. I definitely couldn't do it with Luca around because he's not at the age where he can actually help but um, I'm sure he'd try. So I just want to get it up so we can enjoy it so I'm gonna crack on with it this evening. Our tree is on its last legs um, <laughs> I've had it for about eight years and yeah a few of the branches are broken. It is looking very sorry for itself, but that's fine. I can make do for another year. And I'm sure when all the decorations are on, you won't be able to tell. Um, but I have had this tree since I was like living in a flat down south. Um, so yeah, maybe next year we'll be able to upgrade. I've just pulled all the branches like out and separated them, which I really hate doing. Like, it's not a, a fun job, that one, but I've done it. Um, which is why I've got like fake snow all over me now. Um, so I'm gonna go and get the lights and the decorations and get on with the fun part. Okay, it is 20 to 9 and I think I'm pretty much done with the tree. I haven't got the lights on because I need to find an extension cable but I've got all the decorations on. I'm happy with it. I've got my little Christmas cushions out. I've got a like Yule log centerpiece thing. Um, so yeah, I've got all the decorations out that I'm sort of going to put out for now. I have got a few other bits that I will put out over the coming week um, but the tree was the main thing so that's all up and I'm really happy with it. You see the tree? Look at this thing. Can you see Santa? Yeah, he's on a train. Let, let, yeah. Look at this thing. You like that one? Look at this thing. It's swinging. Yeah, <laughs> Watch the tree. 
Ready? Ready? <gasps> Yay! <laughs> All the lights! I can see more careful. Oh. <gasps> That's better. Daddy, I'll put that back on. <laughs> Who is that? Santa? Santa Claus! Santa Claus! <laughs> right, it's a few evenings later now and I'm sitting down to show you something quite special. I've basically spent quite a bit of time thinking about the kind of traditions that I want to start introducing into Christmas now that Luca is at an age where he's going to start hopefully remembering things um, you know he recognizes Santa now and he gets excited about opening presents and I think now is the time that I want to start introducing like those core memories and those core traditions that we can build on each year I'm not like coming up with a list that we're gonna have forever but um i'd like to start at least a couple when i think back to my childhood christmases um i absolutely loved christmas and it wasn't about doing anything grand it was that warm and cozy feeling i loved the decorations i remember coming home and it just feeling so cozy and loving having like the christmas tree lit up and i had a personal like advent calendar where it was a fill your own one which I think was rarer in those days and my mum would put all my favourite like sweets in there and it felt like such a like grand treat um and you know I loved buying presents obviously I loved getting them I still love getting them and I still love buying them and like thinking of the perfect thing to get people I loved the fact that we'd go food shopping and do like a big food shop and get all those different things that you don't get the rest of the year so it was pretty standard stuff and I still like have all those memories and they mean so much to me and I just remember it all being such a happy time and that wasn't anything to do with grand days out or you know elf on the shelf or Christmas Eve boxes like none of these things existed and I certainly don't feel the pressure to incorporate any of those things um, into Luca's Christmas However, I have been thinking about how I would like to incorporate his grandma, my mum, into Christmas um, because I lost my mum a few years ago and um, she's never met Luca, so Luca's never met her and that's really a difficult thing to navigate as a mum, um, as a new mum and like raising your child, not having met someone who was such a big part of your life and so important to you. Um, and I know that if she was here, she would love spoiling Luca Rotten and you know all the things like she spoiled me. Um, and so I thought um, that a really good way that was like authentic to include her would be to put together a December box for Luca which is full of goodies and crafts and things um, for him to enjoy throughout like the Christmas period. The reason that I've chosen that is because it's something that I can completely imagine her doing if she was here. Um, I think she definitely would be getting him all sorts of fun stuff to do, to do with Christmas. When, like my whole life growing up, she's always put me like treat boxes together. When I was away at uni, I used to get like care packages with, you know, makeup and DVDs and chocolates and just like for no reason other than just a little like pick me up. And so I feel like that's a really true to her gesture um, so that's what I've decided to do. So I went on to Etsy and um, I had a good look around at all the different boxes out there and I found a company who did loads of different personalised ones um, and picked this lovely wooden box and it says Luca's Christmas box. Um, they're like default wording was Christmas Eve box on a lot of them but you could change this to whatever you wanted which was perfect because I didn't want it to be a Christmas Eve box I wanted it to be a December goodie box and it's got a Santa and the reindeer on and it's a really nice size um, and it's like really solid and sturdy it's got a really nice like clasp close so 
I just thought this was really cute, really lovely. I want it to be hard wearing because I want it to last throughout the years. Um, as I say, and be a tradition, something that we get out every year and something he receives off his grandma every year. And then on the inside, you were able to put an inscribed message. So I've just put, Merry Christmas, Luca. Have lots of fun. Love Grandma Margaret. Um, so yeah, this is like just the inside of the box. So I thought I would fill this with goodies, lots of like fun things for us to do um, from his grandma. So what I'm putting in this box this year is some crafty bits. So I picked up a pack from B&M which it was like packaged up but I've taken them out and it has a colouring book and um, a little like activity book, some stickers and a little like draw your own story book um, and it had some pencils in it as well and that was all just one pound so that is the first thing I got for the box I thought he were, he loves to draw and that's the perfect thing like for his age right now it's just something that he can draw with and then I also picked up some books and um, some like Christmas books so we've got a that's not my reindeer which is a touch and feel book which um Lucas still loves these even though really they're for younger than him he absolutely loves them still um, and then I got this book which I absolutely love from TK Maxx it's one of the like pull and cause and effect books um, and you just go through it and like reveal things so that's the snowman we've got a lovely chimney um, and it just like has the stockings hung up and then we've got at the end Santa and Santa appears in a sleigh so I just thought that was really really cute and that was 3 dollars from TK Maxx um, and then I got the Dia Santa book which is a lift the flat book um, and again they're all like stories about Christmas um, or related to Christmas pictures to do with Christmas so it will help him to build the Christmas spirit and to understand what Christmas is as the whole concept of this box is like Christmas activities and things to do I picked up a cookie set um, this is a melting snowman one which I just thought looked cute and that's something for us to do together. I also picked up some chocolate goodies because um, obviously like a few little treats are necessary. And then building on the idea of traditions, um, I wanted this box to be something where the contents aren't, aren't always going to be exactly the same but similar so you know activities to do, treats to eat. Um, and I thought a really nice theme could be a decoration for the tree so I thought each year he could get a new decoration in this box um, so for this first one I picked up this um, dog it's wrapped in Christmas lights this was just from Tesco but I thought it was perfect I thought I could say it was like his dog Teddy um, and that's kind of a theme for the box where each year he'll get a decoration my mum was really into her decorations as well she loved um, decorating the Christmas tree and she had like a whole Christmas decor thing going on with like a winter wonderland um, that she called it like all animals and fake snow and everything um, so again this feels very like relevant to her finally these aren't really something that'll be a theme moving forward but I thought for his first like Christmas where we're actually acknowledging that he knows about Christmas um, and he's at that sort of age where he's using stuff I've picked up um, a little mug which is like a snow globe um, so it's got like all the snowflakes and things um, and then a little Christmas bowl and plate so that throughout December he can have like his own Christmassy utensils and then the final very unplanned part of this um, is a gigantic Santa Claus to deliver it all um, basically I just went into my local charity shop and this massive Santa was there and I decided to buy him so we now have a giant almost life-sized Santa that's going to be out every Christmas <laughs> very extra but also something I feel like my mum would have done so to go with all of this I thought each year I'll get Luca a card and write him a message from his grandma um, so I found this really gorgeous card in Tesco it says for a brilliant grandson and it's actually a Christmas story book so it's got a whole story about Rudolph the reindeer which is really really lovely um, and then in the back I've wrote a message um, to look at from his grandma 
Um, obviously that's private, so I'm not going to read out the message, but um, I've sort of talked about all of the things that are in his box and like why they've been picked and the fact that he'll get a decoration every year um, and also that she's going to send him a couple of gifts with Santa Claus for Christmas morning. Um, I really thought long and hard about how I wanted to do this. It was a difficult decision. People with different religions and beliefs might have different feelings about how to approach these things. Um, I don't have any particular strong religious background or feeling. Um, so for me, I'm still not sure of like the narrative um, that I want to present to Luca um, in terms of where his grandma is. But um, this felt right to me to bring her into his life and um, yeah, for him to be able to have some connection to her. So I really hope that he likes it and this brings a lot of meaning to him each year. The last thing that I wanted to show you this evening um, is this, which is related to what I was talking about earlier and having my own, fill your own um, advent calendar. This is Luca's new fill your own advent calendar. Um, and I actually saw this on Vinted. I got it for £15, which is really good compared to how much these things are. They're like 60 plus um, online new um, and it was in really good condition um, and it is a train which I just thought was perfect for Luca because he is obsessed with trains and cars um, so I knew he would love this and it's got all its little drawers um, and I've basically just filled them with little chocolate like little chocolate puddings um, so that is Luca's little personalised advent calendar. He's already spied it and chomping at the bit to play with it. <laughs> and I'm sure once he knows it contains chocolate, he'll be even more excited. Um, but I was just really happy with that. I thought it was really cute. And yeah, kind of following on from my childhood memories of having my fill your own advent calendar. Um, I really wanted to do the same for Luca. So myself and Johnny actually didn't have advent calendars we aren't doing anything extra this year just with all of our wedding saving and stuff that's like our presents so we're not doing anything for each other this year which is totally fine but um we have received a very special delivery from our like closest family friends who are basically family um, and they spoil us all the time and this year's no different so we've actually received a hotel chocolate advent calendar for two um, and Luca's got his own and there's some other little chocolate goodies there so I'm very very grateful and very excited to have an advent calendar for us as well. Take the card out. Mm -hmm. I'll hold on to the envelope and you take the card out. Yay! Yay! Christmas! Christmas! Says to Luca with love from Grandma Margaret. Ever since he was very small, Rudolph had dreamed one day helping to pull Santa slay everything and because Ruddy was such a good little reindeer Ooh. he decided to make his wish come true so he put it on his to-do list along with all the other Open wishes <clears throat> while the bigger reindeer were getting ready for the magical flight Rudolph tried to join in with their chatter and clatter but they just ignored him okay. <laughs> nice. And a plate as well. What is that? Finish it. Yeah? 
poor Ruddy felt ever so sorry for himself, and when the big night came, it seemed that even Santa was too busy to remember Ruddy's special wish. But Santa hadn't forgotten. Now, as you may no have noticed, Rudolph's nose was rather bright, and Santa pulled a shiny new bell from his sack. Rudolph's Christmas wish had come true. Grandson, hope all yours do too. The end. A coloring book. Coloring book. Yeah, it is. A crayon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you need crayons. Well, it's should we have a look in this Christmas box? Coloring book. Yeah. Well done. Uh... <laughs> You're gonna drink it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need to put something in, there's nothing in. No walking. Yeah, it just looks like there's water in. <laughs> Daddy put some water in. Crayon. Crayon. <laughs> Crayon. Ta da. Ta da. Yeah. Ta -da. And what's this? Uh, it's to put on the tree. Where are you going to put it? Yay! <laughs> Happy stay. You're gonna get your first advent calendar out. No, my thing. My thing. My thing. My thing. Pull out the drawer, number one. What's in there? Bye. What have you got? Uh, a little chocolate. We don't stop looking at the easy way to do You need the chocolate, so we'll put the drawer back. back in. And now we have to peel that. So look, I can eat it. So we have had a lovely few days kicking off Christmas. We've got all our decorations up and Luke has been loving his advent calendar. And yeah, we've really got into the Christmas spirit. You had fun? Yeah. Yeah, do you like Christmas? Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, we've had a really lovely start to December. I'm really excited for Christmas because this year, Luca's really understanding a lot more and he's getting excited and I can just really see what Christmas morning's gonna be like and how excited he's gonna be and how lovely it's gonna be. Before then, we've got quite a few other nice things planned. Um, we're going on a light trail, which is basically like a mile long walk um, with loads of different light installations. So I'm hoping Luca's really gonna enjoy that because he loves going out on the estate and seeing all like the Christmas lights on everyone's houses and things. So this will be that on like a scale of a thousand. So I'm hoping he really enjoys that. And of course, we're going to see a big man himself. We're going to see Santa Claus. So I'm going to bring you along with us for those. So they'll be coming really soon. My next video is actually going to be my two to three year old gift guide, which is basically everything that I've bought Luca for Christmas this year. So if you're looking for ideas for any two to three year olds that you need to buy for, definitely check that one out. I'm really happy with everything I've got and I've definitely gone a bit overboard, but I know everything that I've got is going to be like a hit and well used. So I'm really, really happy with it. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts and if you've enjoyed this video in the comments and let me know if there's anything else Christmassy you'd like to see from me. Um, I'm definitely going to take a bit of a break between Christmas and New Year. But I've got plenty of videos coming before then. So I'll see you really soon in the next one. Bye.